Hey gents, a few weeks ago I put out a Chino, a Roundup, and in there I was really impressed with Jomers. These aren't like traditional Chinos necessarily, but I want to try out some of their other stuff and so I got some things here to check out. So I want to open this up and try on I have one of their shirts and then some more of their pants. But what's really impressive about Jomers is what they're delivering for the price. Uh, you know, I think this whole bag here was 216, but they have the, so the first pair was the Italian moleskin pants, and those came out in really good fit. I love the material on these. I also picked up these wool trousers in a brown and opened these up. I grabbed one of their shirts because I wanted to try out their shirt fit. This is the slim fit in medium, their chambray dark uh, wash here. And then this is their light stretch twill. Um, and these, let's double check the prices on these. Uh, I'll put the prices up when I do the try-ons. But uh, Peak Lapel has talked about Jomers and the great value that they're delivering. So this isn't the cheapest stuff, but for what they are delivering, it is very good. And I want to get it on, try it on, and talk about it some more. So let's flip over to the unboxing, and I'll put links below so you can check them out as always. All right, so let's start off with the Graham Slim Dark Wash Chambray Button Down. This one comes in at $36, and I'm wearing it here in the Medium Slim. And I'm really impressed with it, especially at $36. I've definitely paid more money for shirts that are not as nice as this. The terms of the quality of the fabric, just the garment weight, the feel of it, like the, the collar construction feels really good. This reminds me of like, when I think of classic J. Crew quality, this is it, but this would have retailed for, you know, what, $69 before. I really like the detail under the last button where it has this arrow on the placket, because I think this works really well as a casual shirt, but then, uh, you can tuck this thing in and it looks just as good in like business casual. I also love the way that the color is kind of textured into the shirt. And for a casual shirt with my frame, the taper and the torso is perfect. Sleeve length, great on me as well. So that is the Graham Slim shirt. And I wanted to start off with the Italian wool flannel dress pants. I'm, I also have those on uh, in this shot. And these I really like. They have tons of colors on the website for them. They come in at $74. I'm wearing them here in a size 32. Something to keep in mind with all their pants is they all come in a 34 inch inseam. So on me, they're all perfect. Usually I wear a 31 or a 32 waist and a 34 inseam. And I love the way all three of these pants fit on me. But if you're shorter, uh, keep that in mind. If you are taller, you're gonna have trouble because there's not a lot of excess fabric, uh, especially on these trousers, to lengthen them at all. But these flannel dress pants use Vital Barberie Canonico wool, and so you're getting like a quality heritage woolen mill. I really like the color on these, but you, you might be able to see in the video there's a little bit of a sheen to it, almost like it's a cheaper fabric. It doesn't bother me too much. I actually really like the way that they feel. They're lined down like to the knee, so they're like half-lined pants. And, and wool trousers that come to mind in the same price point are like the tie bar ones. And these, uh, I like the wool on these, I like a lot more than those at a similar price point. And you know, you pair these with like a navy or a charcoal blazer. So you take that navy or charcoal suit that you bought, put these on, wear the jacket on top of it. I think you get a great suit separates look and they have tons of colors in them as well. So for $74, I think these are really tough to beat. These are kind of equivalent to some of the premium Bonobos trousers that they make and those are up in like the 180s, a little bit higher. So again, for the value here, Jomers is knocking it out of the park. The other pants don't have this, but the trousers have what I'm gonna call a triple lock design. So they have the button here, offset button. They have one clasp here and they have another button over here and then the zipper, which I, li I like this design. I like having something that keeps a nice silhouette on the waistband, but also, you know, feels very sturdy and, and it looks a little bit elegant. You know, the only thing, if I could take these, if I could properly get these things off, yeah, that would be even better, but yeah. Next, I'll just talk a little bit about the Italian stretch moleskin pant. I did cover this one in my Chino Roundup, but the, this is Italian cotton moleskin, which is 93% cotton, 3% stretch. And I love, like it's just a very luxurious fabric, especially coming in at $58. I'm really impressed with it. This is the 32 slim. They also have a tailored model, which is which would be a little bit slimmer. And again, keep in mind, this is a 34 on me. So if you're a little bit shorter, you'd be going to the tailor on this one. But at $58, go for it. Cause it's just a very unique fabric for a trouser. I love the deep blue on here. They have a couple other colors. And having these for the past few weeks since doing the roundup 
really liking these and they're definitely in my rotation. Finally, we have the Japanese five pocket stretch twill. These pants come in at $48. And what I really like about Jomers overall is they're also pretty clear about what fabrics they're using, where it's made, what other details they have, the other details about the clothing as well. So this is a premium eight ounce cotton milled by the Karabo Denim Mills in Japan. I hope I got that right. And the twill is a 97% cotton, 3% stretch. Eight ounces is pretty light for chinos. Like I have some heavier stuff for the winter. So these could be an all year round type of thing, but I would think of these, especially in the light color, as more of a spring summer type of style and pant. But I can definitely see in the fits of all three of these pants, like this is a brand that I'm gonna enjoy coming back to because I love the way, you know, I could probably go down to a 31 waist in each of these. I have a little bit of room, but the way that the taper is from the thigh down to the leg opening is just perfect on me. And so I'm really into this. And these again come in at $48. So you're looking at really good value on these pants. So there you have it, gents. I'd love to answer any questions you might have about Jomers. This is my first take with a brand, but I've heard great things online. I definitely wanna keep up with future collections because I like what I've seen so far. And if you guys wanna see it, comment and let me know because that's what helps me to understand which brands I should focus on going forward. So Jomers on the first run really nails it. Loving the fabrics, loving the fits. The big caveat I have with this, and this is just like, my thing as I shop for a clothing is they do have free shipping, but they don't have free returns. And so, you know, most brands today, especially ones I cover on this channel, usually have free shipping both ways. If you do want to do a return, you're going to the post office, you're sending it back and you're paying your own postage that way. So that is just one of the cautions. And I think if you're getting product that is at this, you know, price cost value ratio, then it's like, take your pick. Do you wanna to go to Bonobos because they have an um, easier returns process, but their product's gonna be a little bit pricier. It's like, you gotta kind of pick your battles here. And so that's just the only thing, that's like the only thing out of this uh, that I can really critique. And so let me know if you have any questions. You know, this is my first run, but if you let me know that you like Jomers and stuff like this, I will continue to keep up with the brand. You know, the comments are a big way that I understand which products and which brands I continue to uh, track and go forward with. And I'll, you know, these will go right into the rotation, keep pace with these, wash them a few times. And if you have any questions, happy to answer below. And until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.